Tamlin Marco is the co-founder and interim CEO of H2 Pro. He joins us live from Los Angeles in the great state of California. And Talman, first of all, just give me some insight into your business and exactly how your technology works. Of course, our viewers would know that in order to create hydrogen, you need to split water. You're very well backed. What makes your technology so unique? Thank you very much uh, for having me. The, the technical details of what we do are, are somewhat difficult to explain. Um, suffice to say that when you split water, there is a certain inefficiency in, uh, in typical electrolysis and typical water splitting uh, technologies, which have to do with the fact that the whole process is done in an electrochemical way. Uh, what we are doing is a blend between uh, classical water splitting technology and something which is more akin to battery. And what uh, we discovered at uh, the Technion in Israeli University was that by doing this, we're sort of circumventing the biggest uh, challenge around electrolysis, which is um, this inefficiency. Um, it's this, and it also makes the whole process simpler, which means cheaper. So we're getting to much higher efficiency. We're talking 95% uh, 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 system efficiency versus 70 or less. So you need to spend less energy um, in, in order to get a kilogram of hydrogen. And at the same time, our systems are going to be significantly cheaper. Uh, this translates into cheaper hydrogen for our customers uh, with the goal of being at this magic number of $1 per kilogram by the end of this decade versus the official goal of the UN of being there, let's say in 2050. Okay, so very lofty ambitions there. But Talman, what really, I guess, fascinates me most about your technology is the challenge and the problem that it solves. Because under the traditional process of splitting water, of course, the uh, electrolyzers that are used in that, the electrolysis machines, require grid electricity, which often depend on traditional forms of supply. They're not necessarily so green. And your technology is able to basically alleviate some of that challenge. But the question I have is, how soon before you can bring this to utility scale? When are we going to see this actually being applied in real world scenarios and actually contributing to grids, not just at a micro level, but contributing to grids at a city or country scale? So we start commercializing the technology in 2019. So we're now three, three-ish years into the process. So we started with uh, a system producing of 0 0.00002 uh, kilograms a day of hydrogen. Today, we're about half a million times bigger than this at 10 kilograms a day. Uh, by next year, we will have pilot systems uh, with a few customers in 2024, we will have multi-megawatt demo systems. In 2025, we will be able to provide utility scale systems. So we're about two and a half, three years away from utility scale. And of course, there are economic barriers, there's technological barriers, there's political barriers, no shortage of challenges out there when it comes to achieving utility scale. But Talman, I also wanted to ask you about the geopolitical implications as well. We've seen Europe making quite a significant green dash away from Russian fossil fuels. That is, of course, ultimately undermining energy security in this environment. I'm wondering, given the dynamic playing out right now in the energy and clean energy space, is that a pro or a con for your business? I believe it is. Uh, in the short term, we are seeing governments willing to um, use more fossil fuels, more coal, more uh, methane or natural gas. Um, but I believe that longer term, so in the three, five, ten years, uh, this is going to accelerate Europe's and, and other places as well, um, a transition to green energy, to renewables. Yes. 